In this tutorial, I will show you how to create the cross stitch effect using a PSD file mockup in Photoshop with an action that will actually create the cross stitch effect. First, we have to open the PSD file, which is this one. You see that on the right, we have a number of groups that contain all the layers in this PSD file. For this cross stitch effect to show, let's double click on this layer, add your image inside. So double click on the thumbnail and open. Press Ctrl plus V to paste the image. Now go here and select the magic wand. Select the tolerance. In my case, it's 30. Then go to the image and remove the background. In this way, we have a really nice effect after the cross stitch action is played. So now we have to resize the image. Press Ctrl plus T and resize the image to cover the full screen. It doesn't matter if it looks pixelated. Now, if we close the smart object, we see that the image has no cross stitch effect applied. So double click again to open the smart object, go to the actions window and open the cross stitch action. Click on the action and choose play action. And now we wait for the action to actually create the cross stitch effect. This will take a while because there are a lot of steps involved. So be patient. Now here are all the layers. We have a group that contains a border. If you hide it, you will see that you get another effect without the border. Let's keep it that way. Click close then yes. Save the smart object and let's see the result. So here is the cross stitch effect. Let's close the actions in the tab. Let's click here on the move tool and I will show you how to work with this PSD file to move the groups and layers around. So I click on the move tool and now I can actually move on the screen the cross stitch object. That we if you open the group, you will see that there is also a text layer with a cross stitch font that you can edit and move up and down on the screen. You will see that there are other layers and groups that contain the color effect, gradient, light leak, and contrast. From here, you can change all the effects applied. For example, if you want to change the contrast, this is actually a levels adjustment layer. Drag the handles to create another effect. You can choose to hide all the color effects. You can also move all the elements that you see on the screen, like needles, spool of threads, notebook. But first, we have to lock these groups, the color effects, and add your image inside. You have to press the lock icon to lock these layers as they are over the elements of the mockup. Now when we hold down control and click on an object, we can actually select. Let's select and move the scissors, for example. So control and click on the scissors and move them to the other part of the screen. We can do the same with the spool of thread and also the other spool of thread and the needle if you want to move it somewhere else. You can also delete the elements that you don't want. Now let's save the result. You can go to File Export Save for Web or File Save As. If you want to print the result image, you can choose the Photoshop PDF file. So that is pretty much the result for the cross stitch PSD mockup and action file. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.